I've never really played any of those turn-based 2D RPG games like Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy, but it was something about those games that was always kind of inviting, but it was hard to kind of get into. During the recent Nintendo Direct, one game caught my eye and it also had a demo available later that day. And that game is Sea of Stars. Now this is a game made by Sabotage Studios, the same people that made the game The Messenger, which is another game that I have not played yet. But that game was loved by critics and also the fans and they kind of moved from making a 2D action game to now taking on the 2D turn-based RPG genre. So the thing that will catch most people's eyes is just the art style. The game looks amazing. It kind of has this weird 90s aesthetic but also has a tinge of modernism to it when it comes to the art. And even for someone like myself that didn't really grow up playing those kinds of games, it does kind of make me feel a little nostalgic every time I look at this. Since the demo was out, I said, you know what, I'm going to give this a shot. I want to see what this game is about. If I don't like it, all I did was play a demo and that's it. Having finished that demo, wow, this game is really, really good. Now this demo obviously just covers a very small portion of the entire game. But from what I played, I can see this game being something I dive into fully. Now let me kind of back up and talk about what that demo was about specifically. We just start off in this specific area and we are with two other members in our party and we are trying to basically get to a location to view an event. That was kind of the entire premise at that point of time and they let you kind of just explore and battle enemies and talk to people and explore more. As I started just kind of moving around, the first thing that just gets me and you all know this about me is the music. This game possibly has some of the best music I have ever heard in gaming history. I know that sounds like a stretch, but I'm not kidding. I always try to find the good in games when it comes to the music and the ambience and all that, but this game just, wow. This game is punching up all the way to the top. This is like Red Dead Redemption level good. Now I will play the soundtrack for a couple of seconds only, but I'm hoping that will give you an idea of what kind of just blew me away with this game. Because of the music, I'm already in. But then it hits me with the gameplay. Now, like I mentioned, I have played turn-based kind of games, but I have not really played these 2D turn-based games. So this was something that I was still kind of getting used to. But this game has a really cool concept when it comes to the turn-based genre. So you do have your typical turn-based kind of combat where you are selecting the attack or a specific skill. But one of the cool things is you can combine or do combos with your teammate. So you can do an attack that you both do together and do extra damage because of that. Another cool thing is enemies will have specific blocks pop up above their head and those blocks will relate to a specific kind of attack that your party members have. If you're able to basically do all of those attacks in those blocks, that is an instant kill for that enemy. And another thing to just kind of add a bit more fun to this whole gameplay mechanic is that there is a more active element when it comes to attacking anyone. For example, there is a party member that will essentially throw a moon-like shaped thing at the enemy. And once you throw that boomerang of sorts, it will bounce back and come back to you. And if you press a button at the right time, it will bounce back and go to the enemy. And you can keep doing that again and again and again until you basically mess up that hit but it can go to a very, very long time. I remember I got to a point where it just felt like it was unending, but it was so cool to kind of see the amount of damage I had done at the end. Otherwise, when it comes to the 2D kind of gameplay, it is very much what you would expect. You're able to speak to people if you're in a town, if you're in a specific area, there's a camping area where you can stop, make food, rest to get your health up. But the cool thing about making the food is obviously kind of, if you've seen in other RPG games, you basically have dishes that will give you more health, give you more mana or something like that. I haven't gotten to a point where these dishes are, you know, giving me additional elements or effects or anything like that. But so far from what I'm seeing, we can kind of expect what we have seen in other games when it comes to making food for your party. Another thing that I kind of noticed, which is really cool, is that there is a 3D element to the world. So there's a lot of points where you would normally think that you can jump off of, 
because there's like a ledge or anything like that. But in this game, all you do is press A or the down button or whatever, and you can actually jump down or climb back up. So you don't need to have these weird barriers where you're like, you know what, I can jump down there, but the game just makes you find a new route because of whatever reasons. In this game, if you see a ledge and go down, you can probably go down. There's also an overworld, so you would have like areas where you will go to if it's a city or if it's an area you need to explore or the forest or this or that. But all those areas are very, very highly detailed. And it's always cool to kind of just go around in this game, at least in the demo. I only went to the city, the town area, and then the next mission area that I had to go. But just kind of seeing that area and where I could possibly go, it got me really excited. This is also mixed in with really good dialogue and some really awesome comedic scenes that will, I will try not to spoil, but it is really kind of fun to see what they're trying to do with this. And like I said, like it's just something about that world that is very inviting, that makes you say, you know what, I want to invest more time in here. It just kind of reminds me of Yakuza and when those games were becoming popular and I kind of jumped in and I kind of saw that, you know what, this is actually a really fun world to just be around and just kind of see and explore. And this game kind of does the exact same thing. The art style, like I mentioned, is just awesome. I just love looking at the sprites, the movements and all that. I just want to keep a screenshot of each scene because everything just looks so good. The lighting and everything is just popping in the right spots. And like I said, when you are moving, when you are doing things, there is this sense of modern gameplay or modern look to it, but it's also still kind of very much in that old school RPG kind of a look, but also saying, hey, look at this cool new feature or new thing that we added in this game. I played this on my OLED Switch and that OLED screen really made all the colors pop. So it was, it just kind of took this game to another level for me when it comes to the art style. But either way, whenever you're playing it on a TV or anything like that as well, it will still look amazing. And that's not one of the things that really, really kind of just makes this game so interesting in general is that just that look, just the look of the game. Now this game comes out in August. I believe it comes out on most of the consoles and everything like Switch. PlayStation and also on the PC. I'm not sure about the Xbox actually, but I'm extremely excited about this game. It's on my wish list. I will be buying this game day one. I don't know if I'll be playing the game fully or if it's a game that will actually be good the entire time. But from what I've played, it is a game that I want to see through, even if it's halfway. Something about the game, the world and everything just wants me to just check this game out and the music itself. I, I would just have this game on, not even play and just let the music play because that itself is a good investment on my side. So thank you everyone for joining, really means a lot. I hope you enjoyed this preview video, this is my first one. If you enjoyed this video and want me to do more, let me know in the comments below. You know what to do, I'll see you next time, bye.